Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is Shino, and we're back in our winter wonderland world. Hope you're doing great. Uh, so last episode, we worked on completing the roof up here, and I really like it. And interestingly enough, uh, one of my viewers, because uh, if you remember, I was talking about, wow, I'd really like to have the blue. I think the blue clay would look really good. And one of my viewers pointed out, hey, you don't need hematite for making the blue. I think it was a hematite. Uh, Bacon Queen responded and said, no, you only need, you can actually make it using cow, the uh, corn flour, corn, what's it called? Okay, let's go in here to the handbook. Uh, so blue dye. Blue dye can be made with the lapis, like I identified, but also corn flour and also woad. So you don't have to use um, those items for making the, uh, you know, powdered nickel, like I pointed out, or the lapis. You can use flowers for that. So, oh, thank you very much, Bacon Queen. I appreciate that. I don't know if I'm going to go in here and do that, but... I think you've earned the right to have your name hung on this. So I'm going to make a sign up for you, a ale sign, and we're going to put it up here on the corner of this thing. Uh, so look for that in the next couple of episodes. All right. So I want to do a little bit of looking around. So we're going to go and check our gears, see how many we've got. And we're going to go see if we can get that other piece of the Forlorn Armor set. I haven't been up there in a while. Uh, I'm sure that it has been set and reset several times, uh, but I definitely want to get that piece done. I've identified that. And uh, then I'm going to come back and we're going to uh, get the uh, uh, distillery up and going. Okay, so let me go gather up in my uh, gears and uh, start heading over to the trader and I'll be back. All right, here we go. Jump through here and see what... We can find over there. It's been a while since I've been there. I mean, it was back in the last last fall, last time I went down there, I think it was. So might have been in the winter time, but uh, definitely need to go over there and see how things are going. So here we go. Like I said, not too far of a run to get over there. I wish I had a better sword, though. You know, I got thinking about that. My sword is just about done. And uh, I've got a, I've got another one. I should have probably brought it. So, Well, we'll find out if that's going to come back and hurt us or not. Alright, let me get over there and uh, I'll be back. Alright, here we go. I still need to go down that hole. I, I keep thinking, every time I come over here, I think that. It's like, oh, I need to go check out and see what's down there. Hello. Hello, Roto. Uh, legs. Not the chest. Oh, man. Oh, well, all right. I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, ooh, auction. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, I don't have that. I got that install. I got that set up, but uh, not on multiplayer, so it doesn't matter. Man, that would have been nice. Now he does have the small carpets, and I was talking about I need the small carpets, but I don't want to spend ten gears right now. I do want the carpets, but I'm not going to spend ten gears on it. So, well, uh, let's see. Delivery of new goods in six days. Uh, today is the twentieth of April, so I will see you in six days, sir. You just wait right here, and I'll be back for you. Um, there's a bad guy, but no. And I don't think there was another trader, another commodities trader. Yeah, it didn't look like it. A couple bad guys now. Okay, well, let's head back to the house, and we'll get started on the distillery. All right, so we won't be able to work on that just yet, which is, you know, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I definitely want to get that done. Like I said, that was one of the things that I said I wanted to do uh, before this season was over, so 
I guess that means we get to continue the season for six more days. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's take a look at what we're going to need for this distillery. Now, I know I'm going to need some lead. And, uh, yeah, I got lead. Okay. I'm going to take that with me also. Um, and copper... I don't have a whole... Oh, I got a bunch of copper stored there, so that's just all I've got left there. Woo! And let's see, we need to do... Do I have this bookmarked yet? I do not. So let's go into our... Here, and let's say distillery. Distilling. There it is. Okay, so we're going to need a boiler. So let's bookmark that. And we're going to need a condenser. So let's bookmark that. And that's where we're going to need the uh, lead soldering bar. So we're going to need to make sure we've got our saw with us. And we're going to need to craft probably another copper chisel. Don't think I've got a copper chisel. No. I don't. Okay. So that's uh, something else we'll have to get done too. So, um... Probably ought to just go ahead and do the copper chisel from this area. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a copper chisel made while we're here. So we'll need... Just that many's. That, and then... Do we have any charcoal? Yeah, we got some charcoal. All right, so let's get this heated up. And I'll come back. Well, I just noticed, I was sitting there looking around and I thought, oh, that ink gets about ready. Let's hammer it out. Uh, I had a anvil right there. But I don't have a hammer here. I think all my hammers are over in the workshop. So grab a hot ingot. Grab our sword because it's... For the night is dark and full of terrors. Let's get over there. Let's get to going. Alright. And hammer, 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 hammer. There we go. Get this. All right. So we are making our copper chisel right there. I'm just going to draw that down. Easy peasy. There we go. And then we'll split those off. I'm reminded of early in this season, and I think, I can't remember what I kept calling it. Every time I was talking about a chisel, I kept calling it an anvil, I think, or something like that. I don't know. Eh, it's a funny little blurb. If you haven't seen it yet, I think it was, uh, I think it was like episode, like, 12, maybe? 13, somewhere around there? For this season, you can go check it out. Okay, so there's that. And then, do we have our saw? We do... All right, so we need to make, uh, out of this copper, we're going to have to make, let me get some of this out of the way here. Um, let's go back into our handbook, and let's go to our bookmarks. And for the condenser, we're going to need two copper plates, easy, uh, and a soldering iron, which we just got that to make, so no big deal there. And then for the boiler, we're going to need two, three, four, five. So what is that? A total of five, six, seven plates. So that'll be 14 ingots. 14. Cool. And I'll put, let's say we'll do, yeah, we'll just do four in each one of these. 
So that allows me to do 16 at a time. Oh, that's right. I needed to get the... Uh, oh, I need to get that kit done. I wonder if I've got everything to do a repair kit while we're here. Oh, not on bookmarks. Go there. Repair kit. Uh, large repair kit. Ooh, I may not have the rope anymore. I may... Oh, yeah, I can get rope. I was thinking I need to you know, do it with the vines, so... Okay, let me... Because I'm going to need both of those going, so we're going to have to get that done. So let's get these fired up. And I'm just going to put six in each one. Alright, and we'll get these fired. And then I don't have the leather on me either, so... Well, let's grab this. No, so I really don't have anything on hand for that. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's go, while that's heating up, let's go over here. And I think inside here, in one of these I had some leather. Nope. Do I have any reeds? I got reeds. So I can use that for making rope. Let's convert it all over. There we go. So I got the rope, and then for the uh, any boards and leather. Okay. Where did I see the leather? Is it in here? I was looking in one of these, and I found some leather. It wouldn't be in the glass. Hmm... Leather. <laughs> okay. And then uh, what else did I need here? The boards and the iron ingots. Cool. Do I have any boards in here? Nope. But I know where I do. Should have some in one of these. Oh, I don't want to use those, though. I don't want to use those. Okay. Well, I think I've got... Let me close. I think I have over here some wood downstairs. Let me run down here and take a peek. See if I've got anything down here. Hey, I'm not out of wood. There's still any boards. All right, let me go find some boards. I'll be back. Okay, I just missed it when I was looking in there. I have boards right here. Okay, so we need for this, we're going to need the hammer. Let's go back in and look at that repair kit. Okay, so last thing we're going to need then is going to be the uh, ingots. So we need four iron ingots. I'm going to make two of these. Just in case I need anything else out of here. Okay, open up our inventory. H on that. Go to the repair kit. There we go. So, got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. And got that. There we go. Two repair kits. Okay. And I went ahead while I was... Before I ran over, I wanted to make sure I got the, at least the first one done. Let's get another one going. Let's fire this one up. 
There we go. That one's going. And repair kits. And I've had this once before. Oh, hello, bad guy. I get it. I did, but it's not going to be enough, is it? I'm going to have to do one more. They're from everywhere. Okay. Go away. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to have to make at least another kit to get that up and going. Why? Well, that's kind of a shame. Let's run downstairs and see if we can see it. Well, let's get this done first. Got you. Let's run down here. Can we gain access to what we need to repair this from here? No, we can't. Okay. All right. So we'll have to make another repair kit. Which I think I've got everything to make another one. I just need two more. Four. I think it's four. And the boards, one rope, some leather, and a hammer. There we go. Okay. Eat again. Okay, let me get these finished made up, and then I'll be back. I just got thinking, I don't know if I've ever shown how quickly this three health hammer system set up works. Um, so let's go through. So there's one plate made. Here we go. So let's show... how quickly it goes. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I got to thinking about that. I, I was trying to get that one over there going, and I have put three repair kits on it, and uh, it's still not moving. Um, and it looked like it was at 90%, so there's something else, something blocking it, I think. It's a problem, but there we go. So that should give us now the eight plates that we need. And then uh, let's open this back up, go to our bookmarks. So for the condenser, uh, oh, we need to make the soldering iron. So, how oh, many sticks on me? Do I have sticks here? No. No, no sticks. All right. Here we go, I gotta get some sticks. I could have swore I had some sticks over there. But, you know, I've been kind of picking stuff up and rearranging stuff. So, it's a very good possibility I've moved all my sticks over to here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take two stacks with me and we'll go back over. Because we're going to need some more sticks. I, oh, I remember. I made up a bunch of fences. That's right. Used up all my sticks I had over here. Is these guys all dead now? There was a bunch of them that were kind of down in this area, but it looks like they're all gone now. And then I had some dropping off the roof at me. Uh, but yeah, this is at 90% durability, so it should be moving. So I'm not really sure why it's not. I'll have to play around with that. All right, let's get this done. So let's make our soldering iron. There we go. And we're making the... That's silver solder. Oh, I need to mix those together. All right, so I need some silver for that. I was thinking I could just use lead for some reason.
Yeah, I can. Oh, but I gotta make a lead solder ingot. Which is the lead and the tin. Okay. Alright. I happen to know where I've got some tin. So I was just looking at that. And it was in... Nope, that is Galena there as well. Take all use with me. Well, let me see if I got any tin. Tin. No tin. Am I really out of tin? Hmm. Well, that's going to be a problem. All right, hang on one second. Ah, I found it. I thought I had some tin. I just, because I was going to, I crushed it up. I had to crush some uh, for something I was making. And I was like, I, don't, I know I didn't crush it all up. I would have left some, but it was up there and that. I was looking to see if I had maybe any bits left in here too, but no, I don't see any. So I got 32. That's That'll be more than enough for what I need to do. All right, so I'm going to need to convert this over. And did I have a... I don't? Okay. So we're going to go back over to the shop to get this all mixed up. Okay, that was starting to concern me because I went and I looked on my map and the next closest location where I could find tin, and I want to see, I've got, I've got to have a pretty big. I can hear um, the uh, temporal rift sound, so I've got to have a huge one close by here. I can hear it, and I've seen lots of bad guys running around, but I don't see it. But I've been just being swarmed by bad guys. Okay, let's get in here and get this uh, tin made up. So we're going to need tin solder is what we're going to be making. So if I look... I brought my hammer, right? Yep, okay. So let's get that converted. That should be plenty. So for this to make the tin solder, lead solder, uh, half and half, right? Okay. So let's make let's make I don't know. Gosh, how many? If we do thirty and thirty. I get us three ingots worth, right? That, that should be enough. All right, let's get that fired up. All right, let me let this go and I'll be back. All right, so... Got our lead solder. Let's make our way back over here. I don't think there was anything else in here that we needed, so might not need to do this over here, but I don't know. It just feels proper. So we were going to, let's see. Go back to our bookmarks. I want to make sure. All right, so that calls for five. And that's two. How many do we get? Perfect. Perfect. I don't know. Things are coming up. Things are looking bright. Let's get those two done. And let's get the boiler done. Now, I think, you know, I just got thinking about this. We probably ought to be making more of these, huh? 
we probably need to make several of these setups, I'm thinking. So we'll do that. Now, we also need to make the fruit press. I forgot to get that going when I was putting together my, my shopping list here of things. So what do we need for the fruit press? I don't think it was very difficult. No, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Um, so let's get... We've got 12 there. Got 52 of that. And, oh, by the way, I screwed up several times when I was making these. I actually ended up stacking three iron uh, copper plates uh, on the anvil at once. So it's going to turn into one copper plate when I'm done. So that's pretty bad. And then I accidentally clicked those ingots into making shears. Yeah, that was me. All right. Uh, I'm not making this out of steel. Uh, yeah, let's make it out of iron. Let's make these fruit presses with the iron. I don't know if there's much of a difference here. We'll see. So bookmark. I didn't bookmark it. Fruit press. All right. So we're going to need uh, the ingots and the fat and that and a hammer and chisel. I know I have a chisel. I know I have a chisel. There it is. I just forgot to grab it. All right, so back into this. Let's see. Here we go. Fruit press. I need to bookmark that. Fruit press. Let's bookmark it. So that way we got to find it again. Okay, here we go. Chisel. Put our iron ingots in. Put our fat. Put that. Uh, hammer, hammer, hammer. And boards. Three. Okay. That'll work. Okay, so we got three of those. We got one of each of those. Now, I'm curious. I'm curious on the... You can ferment juices, which will require fruit press. Okay. So it doesn't look like it's saying that we'll need anything else but the fruit press, right? Okay. So let's see, what time is it? Like night. Let's sleep through the night real quick. I want to do this in the daylight. And we're going to have to get a uh, kind of a patio area set up out here uh, outside the ale house. So we've got the, the overhang area, uh, but we're going to need to uh, kind of change that over just a wee bit, I think. Okay. So out here is where these are going to go. And what I mean by that is I think probably need to come in with uh, stone or brick down here, I think would look good. Yeah. And we're going to be doing the distilling here. So for now, let's put let's put these fruit presses right up against this edge here. Like that. That and like that. And add fruit. Can we use their berries? Let's see. I mean, I know we can, but I wonder if we have enough, I guess is what I should say. So let's just gather up all of these. And that's why we wanted to have these all set up along here, was so we had a spot where we could have a place to quickly grab our berries. There we go. There. Oh, am I supposed to have a bucket underneath there? 
I hope not. What's it showing in there? So we need a juice container now, huh? Okay. Mm I'm learning this part of it. Never use the fruit container. Can I use this? I messed that all up, didn't I? You guys are screaming at me. I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, there's nothing in that. All right, so let's try this one more time. So let's see. What else we got here? Do I have more? Yeah, I got some more. Don't eat them. Let's try this again. Got them all? Okay. I forgot I was going to check. Was that 32? It went into that. All right. I know. there. I can hear you guys. I can hear you screaming at me saying, no, you can't use a jug. It says bucket contains three liters of black currant juice. Contains three liters of black currant juice. I did it. I told you I could do it. You guys doubted me. Jump. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we got that part of it done. But yes, I see the, what the problem's going to be. So I'm definitely going to need to get some buckets up underneath there. So let's. Let's get some buckets made. I think I know I can get lots of flax because we need to go over here and look at this anyways. And uh, this episode's running a little bit long, so I know I got some editing to do on it to get it out. But let's see, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. So we just have this one planted. Oh, yeah, that's all good. Okay, and then I should have a huge thing of flax over here. And I do. And how's my pumpkins doing? Just one. See, I didn't do very good on my pumpkins. It's kind of bothersome. But that's okay. I got one pumpkin. Okay. Hey, that's going to do it, folks. I'm going to work a little bit more on trying to get the fruit presses going. Let's go ahead and get the... Now, I know how to do the distillation thing. So I'm not going to put it all down yet because i got to get my fire pit and everything built. But, um, yeah, we'll just show where it's going to go at. So we're going to drop this thing in. Uh, and we're going to have a couple of these. But I think these are going to go probably over on this side. Like so. So shift and click it. Yeah. Uh, so that way we can still get access to it down here to put in our, our fire pit and everything. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and do that. Oh, oops. There it goes. Okay. So, and I don't think I've got any wood with me. But anyways, yeah. So that is that part of it. Uh, so we'll have the fruit presses probably. I think I'll end up moving them down here a little ways. Uh, put some area in here for the barrels. Uh, may put off another fence area in here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, folks. Hey, that's going to do it for this episode. This is Shino. Hey, we'll check you next time. Take care.